If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. Um, but thank you for a great season. It was a great season. <laughs> well, good season. It was good. You're a Jets fan. Feeding you should Chris be. Ross. It was good. It was good. It's good. He needs some better receivers. He needs Brandon well, Ellis to not drop job. two again. You know. And what's your team? Probably Cardinals. I'm an Arizona guy. I'm maybe the one guy for the Cardinals, but I, I, I didn't have anything for years. And then they finally started to come Neither around. Neither one of you have had anything for years. Yeah, yeah, Jets yeah. And Cardinals. I'm glad it came around for them because, uh, but this year it was tough. Same thing. They had a tough game against, uh, was it the Saints? What's the one that went forever, forever? If, uh, Green, Bay. Like Green Bay. Green Bay. Green Bay. Oh, Last what, team with the ball wins. One of the great yeah. games of all time. Yeah, that was great. You guys NFL fans, you sit around every Sunday, watch your teams? Oh, yeah. or? I'm, more, I'm more football. And then probably basketball, baseball. I'm, I'm a little more NBA, but I, I like it. Are you happy with the state of the NBA right now? Yeah, yeah. Like, LeBron's the man. LeBron is, you know, Kobe's really the man. Kobe's got the ring. So LeBron's knocking on the man's door. <laughs> He's knocking on the man's door, and he may take the man's TV. Right on. <laughs> Let's talk about the movie a little bit. And uh, when did it get done? When's it come out? What's the Give me a little plot line. Sell the movie for me, guys. Okay, uh, five guys. We grew up together. We play on a basketball team that goes to state in seventh grade. It's yes. a crummy little team. Okay. So, uh, 20 years later, our coach dies. We all fly back for the funeral. We haven't seen each other for a while. And we decide to stay a week and hang out. And, uh, and hilarity and It was like a funny big chill. Yeah. So when they come to you guys and say, you want to make a movie with you and you and you and Sandler, we're going to bring everybody together here. I mean, that's something that, uh, you know, like Ocean's 10, Ocean's yeah. 11, all that kind of like stuff. That, yeah. But when you make these decisions to get involved with this movie, it's different than Chris Rock's star, Dave Spade's star right. of the movie, that sort of thing. Right. We decide that it's all going to be, Adam decides it's all going to be even. And he doesn't want like any favoritism. He wants everybody to just uh, be happy and be out there together. Like we're all in SNL together. So. We all have tax problems anyway. So just the fact that there's a check coming. The more you make, the more they take. Yeah, we're like you know, knock out some of my child support. You know how it is. But it's uh, it's always harder to do your own movie. So when you get like, if there's a movie with Kevin it, James, probably do well anyway. Or anything Adam. that can eat into that child support bill. I'll do a cat food commercial. You know. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. I have no idea. I mean, he he's hitting the pipe again, clearly, you know. I mean, talk about my child support. This all day. He has no child support, but he's... It just, just goes on, never ends with him. It's all right, though. I just keep going. Uh, so, and then, uh, but Adam... I bet you if, if Bin Laden old child support, they'd find him. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. We got Chris Rock, we got David Spade. Hey, man, what, what happened with Schneider? Is he just uh, he MIA? What, what, he's bugged out. He jumped on with Adam and uh, Kevin James. They're, oh, they're over yes. there. You'll see a slightly bigger crowd. How does an interviewer get in with, with if there's all five of you at any point? I mean, do you, why don't you just, you should do your own round table. I Sit don't know, down. yeah, we I all just we start arguing. I thought we should just arguing. do a press conference. Yeah. Like, like big shots. Like, like one of those Brett Favre, I'm going to stay in the pros press conference. Yeah, we should just do one answer on uh, all the questions. Like, at, right after Kurt Warner retired, we should have just got up there and go, by the way, if you want to ask us anything about going up. It's just, uh, we got you're lucky. All here. Adam wants to do a movie with five guys. We're all friends. We got lucky. It's just a big fun movie. Now, we're a long way out on this. This is June 25th. You guys are already doing pre-publicity on this thing. This, yes, is a, this is a summer blockbuster, as we see. We're hoping. We're hoping, yeah. We got a weekend uh, in between uh, Toy Story 3 and Twilight, so it's going to be a bloodbath. And plus the, with the 88th week of Avatar. So yeah, you never we got to fight that off. Too. So this is not in 3D. I mean, Grown Ups in 3D, what would that be like? 2D. That's going to be a big I'm, thing. I'm old school. I'm still in the 2D. Well, look, man, we we'll, really appreciate you guys stopping by. I know you got a lot of places to go. Are hey, you hitting the road, doing a little comedy here? Uh, we going to see know, you? Just little HBO? Right I'm, I'm writing. I'm writing. I love it when you back. drop the F-bomb. You know, that's um, what i got to have. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to do it on the... Just have dinner with him. He does it. David sure. Spade, Chris Rock, thanks right, for coming right, by, fellas. Thank you. My pleasure, man. There he goes. Yeah, All right. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.